three. Welcome to another episode of the Rude Kenny Podcast. And today is Taco Tuesday, goddammit. Let's get it! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, it's been a long week, kid. How you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. Hell yeah, got the side cream, the lettuce. Oh, yeah, it's going down, goddammit. You better enjoy it, goddammit, because they going through a shortage right now. What you mean they going through a shortage? It is a fucking food shortage right now. I told you I went over to, like, two stores by where I'm at. Over there on Marlboro Pike, Silver Hill Road, and all that area, man. To compare foods and the shoppers, it's all out of shit right now. All a lot of shit. Damn. Man. Sometimes I do the Instacart on my days off or whatever, and they send me, most of the time, they send me over to the Wegmans, over here, uh, Landover and shit. The other day I went up in that motherfucker, they hold meat section is out, pause. A lot of the canned goods is out, snacks, uh, dairy products, bread, all that shit is running out, man. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's getting why do you Why do you think it's a food shortage? Cause these motherfuckers scared of the goddamn. They, they every time the news mention, oh yeah, it's a big snowstorm coming. Motherfuckers get they they lose their motherfucking minds. Then on top of that, facts. You got these motherfucking bitches <laughs> that are on government assistance, getting about like seven, eight hundred dollars in food stamps. Going to bed. Let me tell y'all something too, man. And if you are a motherfucker getting them food stamps, dog, I'm going to need you to motherfucking calm yourself down going in these stores. If the, if you see there are four things of eggs left, please stop being a selfish motherfucker and grab one and save something for somebody else, man. Stop grabbing the whole goddamn shelf just because you got fucking food stamps, man. I mean, for real, my motherfuckers are selfish. I seen this drive, her motherfucking cart, while this bitch had about two carts full of shit. I'm like, yo, you gonna save some shit for somebody else? This same shit went down when my fucking first pandemic kicked off, man. When this shit first kicked off, motherfuckers was in the store losing their goddamn mind. They had to tell motherfuckers, put toilet paper back. Man, tell me about it. When that shit first started in 2020, man. They was buying fucking toilet paper and paper towels, napkins. They, oh, they was going fucking nice. Lysol, Lysol. Lysol. every goddamn thing. Taking all the waters. Motherfucker, I'm like, God damn, save some shit for the next person, man. Like, man, all right, hey, hey, hold your damn selves, man. Hold your damn self. But that, that's what's going on, man. Yeah. Uh, well, and other week's bullshit. Did you see that got that you ain't seen the pastor video that everybody you, talking everybody about? Everybody keep talking about that shit. I haven't seen the shit yet. I haven't even like 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 that shit must be going viral or some shit. It like did that. go viral. Let, let me tell you about this shit. I gotta get into this, man, first. This pastor, he's a black pastor too. For real? Yeah. This this some shit that a Caucasian motherfucker would do. You know the motherfuckers that be coming on BT at night, like three eight four a.m. in the morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. touching motherfuckers' heads and they falling out and shit. This some shit that this motherfucker would do. This motherfucking <laughs> black brother, hog spit in his goddamn hand in the word of God, and rubbed it on another man's a grown man's face. You fucking lying, dog. That's a joke, right? I am not, I lie to you now, Ken. Check it out for yourself, man. This motherfucker <laughs> gonna tell the congregation the reason why he did. Then he made a video afterwards. Talking about, yeah, I seen that video. I understand what y'all was talking about. It was pretty nasty. But y'all Mister understood the message I was trying to get out. His message to the congregation was that God will put you through some shit and sometimes it'll get nasty. So that was his message to That the was people. his message, man, to the people. What type of bullshit is that? Is that our way of motherfucking preaching to Jesus? So basically, he hog spit in someone's face. And somebody's face, and your man was cool with it. He was. There was no reaction. I want you to see this. I'm going to see that shit after the show. And these are the people that are preaching the word of God. What the fuck does 
that have to do with Jesus? You know it's hog spitting on a person's face, yeah. That was to the extreme, man. Now, I didn't say in some wild videos of motherfuckers falling out, catching the Holy Ghost and all that. I'm trying to explain what does this have to do with your Jesus coming back here to save your ass? What does this have to do with that? That don't, man, I'm telling you, it's getting spooky out this motherfucker, man. It's getting real spooky. Suppose you say some shit like that in the church, then what would be your reaction? I would be, I would be in shock. You know, like I'd be like, you know that meme when the guy just do his eyes like this, like, got to see what I just throw myself. Up. A lot of times people go to church with their grandmothers, their mothers, and their aunties and shit like that. You in the back, your mother or your auntie or grandma goes up to the congregation to receive her anointment from the pastor, and this nigga. Gets to talking some bullshit on that altar, spits in his hand and rubs it on the side of your folks' face. What are you gonna do, man? That's that's some wild ass shit. You know, just even think of, just to hear about it. You know? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm whipping that preacher's ass. <laughs> Not after the sermon, during the sermon. Damn. That, no, that's too far, man. That's too goddamn far, dog. Like, nah, I don't, I don't care how much you preaching the word of God. Like, I, I told you, I ain't got nothing against that book. But but a lot of shit that goes on in these churches, man, and a lot of way they ain't set up, it, it's like, it, it's to the extreme, man. They putting ATM machines in the church, man. Why? Why the fuck? I'm telling you, preaching Jesus is big business. Even with my mother. During the pandemic, right? During the pandemic, she was still paying tithes even when the church was shut down. She was still sending money when the church was shut down. Why? What well, this? But hold up, Paul. I'm still trying to figure out why they got ATM. You, so they got ATM in, ATMs in the church now. Yep. Started off with that one over there, uh, the one over there at C Pleasant. Yep. Yeah, ATM in the church. So I guess they're saying there's no excuse. Ain't no excuse. We don't need. We need that. Pass around a complexion plate one more, one more time. <laughs> you need it. You got it. We got an ATM right in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're gonna say to us. Sister Terry. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man, it's getting tricky out here, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you think about oh? What do you think about uh the Supreme Court slamming down Biden's uh vaccine mandate? I told y'all what was coming. I told y'all what was happening, man. That, that, that shit don't surprise me. Nothing that that guy do surprises me anymore. Nothing that the courts is doing. No, the courts. The, which one? They, so they, they, they say it's unconstitutional. The only people who are gonna be allowed to uh, take the the mandates is the uh, the. The healthcare workers. Oh, good. Yeah, good. that's what I'm saying. So they ain't forcing the kids no more, nothing like that, to take it away. Yeah, some states they are. Some states they forcing the kids to take it if they go to school. But I know. Uh, I just heard about the the new the new Virginia governor. He's he's not allowing a uh, mask to be worn in school. Oh no, nah. no nah, man. See, I heard one guy on the news saying that Caucasians will be allowed to go back. The school after blacks are, are in school first. So first they're going to have the blacks go back to school and then the Caucasians get to stay at home. How you feel about that? As far as what, like public school? Yeah, public school. I, I, I don't know if you're talking about private, public, or what. But first the blacks will be going back to school and then the uh, Caucasian kids. Where you hear that from? On the news. Like CNN, Fox News, shit. Like that. I forgot what I know. It wasn't local. Well, no local news, or whatever. Probably one of them out of state news channels. But you know, a lot of times when they uh, them out of state news channels, it's going to trickle down over here. That shit gonna happen over here. Everything is trickling down. Did you just hear fucking? You gotta have a vaccine card to get into the Verizon Center now. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere in DC now, you got a uh, bars, 
restaurants, gyms, restaurants. Yes. all that shit. They ain't, let, they, ain't go, they ain't rocking no more. And you think that shit ain't coming to Merlin and VA? Oh, hey, it's going down. That motherfuckers is about to, yeah, you ain't about to be able to go nowhere. You ain't about to be able to come outside. Me take that shot. If you don't take that goddamn poison, I'm telling you, man, it's it's finna go down out this motherfucker, dog. And man, we we just gotta. I'll keep it real, man. Just stay prayed yeah, keep up. It, that's what we do in this podcast. We keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it keep it prayed up, and man, just hope that hope for the best, man. If it come down to it. Whereas uh, they be like, man, if you don't take this goddamn poison, you getting ten years, five to ten years in jail. What, you <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, 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 they did that shit back in the day when the war was going on. They was like, if you don't fight this white man's war with us, you know, yeah, when they did the draft, yeah, they, when they did the draft, they did that shit back. This is the same government. That shit, man, you think they ain't gonna do that shit now? We got a call on the, got the call on the line. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna do that shit now, man. Hello, Carlo. You on the Rude Kenny podcast? How can I help you? Hey, man. What's going on? It's your man Mello. Hey. What's going on, Mello? You got you. How the fuck y'all call the top of Tuesday? I don't see no tacos. Oh, man. Y'all don't see no damn tacos. Hey, Mello. Hey, Mello. Hey, Mello. You don't see no damn tacos. Motherfucker, you ain't. Are you looking at the live feed on Facebook Live? <laughs> I look at the live feel like y'all say Taco Tuesday, but I don't see no tacos. My man got a burrito right now as we speak. You see it? Are you looking? Are you looking now? Taco Tuesday? You gotta have a vaccine card or something to do anything? Yeah. You gotta have a vaccine card to see the, your Wizards in Capitals play. You gotta have a vaccine card to go to the bars, to go gyms. to the gyms down there. Any goddamn thing now. Everywhere. If you want to take your new date out in D.C. right now, you got to show that goddamn vaccination card. It's a bunch of bullshit, man. I tell you. Yep. It's always been bullshit, girl. Ain't no more Adam Smoking right now. <laughs> Ain't no more hookah lounges for none of them bitches. Unless they. Unless they got that shot. That's crazy. If, 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 if the Supreme Court said you can't force people to get that fucking shot, like why not now y'all want to say you gotta have a vaccine card to get in anyway? Cause close to DC probably. They got barricades. I just heard they set a barricades around the motherfucking White House. For some odd reason, I don't know. They get they got some shit coming. There's yep. something coming. Yeah. It's always one look, it's one thing and it's another thing. Oh yeah. That's how that shit go, man. You got the ATLs run out of the money and shit. Say a couple of ATLs ain't even got money in them right now. So like you said last podcast, that dollar ain't about to mean shit. Nah, hell to eight. They're trying to get the crypto and the Bitcoin. Y'all, y'all, uh, see they changed the, um, what's that stadium? What's that, uh, the NFL, um, no, the, no, the, no. the NBA stadium? It's the, uh, Staples Center. Yeah, yeah it's the Lakers Cryptocurrency Center now. Lakers and Clippers Stadium. You think they did that shit for no reason? Oh, it's a reason behind that shit. It's a reason for every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? That's over there, LA. It's done and over with. Well, what if they tell you if you don't take this poison, you got to do five to ten years in the system? In jail. Well, this system wasn't made for us any goddamn way. Hell no. Nah. Tell you like this now, but here we catch my ass. Yeah, it's going to come a time we are going to have to, as, as black people, as the black community, we all have to pack our shit up and get the fuck out of this motherfucker, man. Got to. We, we need to hurry up and get passports, man, in case this shit go the fuck down. So we're gonna... I'm working on that. Get my fucking passports. I can get ghost somewhere. Yeah. Son, you want to get past party you need a vaccine card to get the passport. Hey, I, I'm telling you, they about to set that shit up, man. Damn, I guess we just moved that. We gonna be fucked. Fuck, yeah, that's it. And on top of all this motherfucking COVID shit, man, you got, you got carjackings and shit and 
in the city uh, on the rise. Politics getting their cars snatched. How y'all feel about that, man? Motherfucking all these kids doing all these carjackers now and shit. Well, I ain't surprised by that shit. Yeah. yeah it's a damn shame. It's going down. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a lot of stores. Like, man, people is catching the, the, the flat behind this shit, man. A lot of stores ain't even high. Like, people are quitting their jobs. A lot of stores is low on uh, staff. They cutting their hours. Because they know people ain't waking that vaccine and shit. That ain't just that, man. They uh, automatically just cutting out. Like, they, they running low on product. Dog, do you not realize? I will tell you, I made more money on employment than working for somebody like shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. Yeah. But it's going to come something behind that, too, man. I guarantee you that. Oh, it's a fact something come right behind that. The taxes this year probably going to be up so motherfucking high. No. They said the IRS is delaying all the tax returns. What do you mean? They delaying your tax returns. So you ain't about to be able to file taxes this year. No, not? you gonna file taxes, but you ain't gonna get them back. You ain't gonna get them back in a timely manner. That's what it means. Probably, probably to the next year. I know the mail fucked up too, man. You ain't getting your mail. I haven't got my mail in a week. Are you serious? I haven't got no mail in a week. Yeah, I hear the mail fucked up. Every goddamn thing. The trash is fucked up. Motherfuckers trash. Yeah, I, I, guess, I seen that shit. Hey, yeah. man, everything is fucking up right now, dog. Shit about to go down. You know what I mean? We catching a flat man and shit, man. Yeah. Oh. Listen to the G12? Everybody just stay prayed up, man. This too shall pass. <laughs> I just had them old white women, them old mm-hmm. black women, and this too shall pass. Yes. Hopefully, shit. Might be they talking about we might be stuck with this shit forever, huh? Yeah. Then on another note, it in today's bullshit, you got man on the other side of the earth trying to play God. Who? Over there in China just recently, these motherfuckers have built an artificial sun. I heard about that shit. I heard about that shit. I, that shit on, on t- oh, I heard it on TikTok. And their reasoning for building this sun, because I guess they had like a, a toxic waste problem over there. Mm-hmm. And they, I guess like their ocean and shit. So they said to prevent, to solve their toxic waste problem, they're going to build a, a sun to burn all the shit up in the ocean. Who the fuck thought of that, bruh? Mr. Burns. <laughs> like, like, some shit off the Simpsons, you <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck I did? What's that? <laughs> Nigga. And they say this shit is five times hotter than the, the actual sun. sun. Yeah. When that but, shit comes first, down- first of all, how is that even possible to build down on Earth with the... <laughs> Dog. Shit that just boggles your mind, yeah. All right, yeah, them Chinese motherfuckers got too much money over there, motherfuckers. Every country, oh, they ass, oh, they ass. That, they, you see what they did to, the, uh, what that, uh, what's that country over there in Africa? I think that's Nigeria or, uh, um, one of them motherfuckers, man. They snatched their whole airport. They were so much in debt. Man, what country was that? They snatched their whole motherfucking airport. Said, all right, you ain't got some money? Cool. We gonna take the motherfucking airport, nigga. Ain't nobody coming through this motherfucker unless you sing Chung Lao. <laughs> Ain't nobody coming to your goddamn country unless you see Chung Lao first, nigga. We taking your airport. Don't think the U.S. ain't in debt with China, either. Don't think we ain't in debt with China. We in debt. Man, that shit. <laughs> but nah, man, for real. You putting this shit, I'm going to tell you, thing five what you heating up the atmosphere when you do that two days after that i know you heard about that volcano that just erupted in the water yeah I heard, I over there on the west coast yeah i heard about that and almost caused a fucking tsunami yeah the whole west coast was on a tsunami alert like this more to come after that that shit gonna trick off a, a whole rack of shit amongst the world dog. that's why it. that's why i remember we uh had this discussion about what you guys are learning about the secrets of the ocean of space 
Like we don't know what's under the ocean. Like like you said, it's it could be volcanoes under the ocean. It might yeah. be a it could be Atlantis. Yeah, under <laughs> for the real. They got uh uh oceans under the motherfucking the ocean. ocean. Yeah. yeah. All right, I seen that shit. Yeah, I watched that motherfucker, man. But they said that shit toxic, though. They ain't even dug into the middle of the fucking world yet. The world goes it's so fucking world. yeah. The world goes so fucking deep. No machine or all that pressure, man. No, no machine or nobody, no human has been to the center of the world. They can't even stand. It. They ain't even made no type of particles. No, no type of machine that can stand that and shit. Have you, and just think about this: the, the Earth is probably over billions and billions of years old, and no technology. You mean to tell me no technology come around? Can my fucking discover? Every, not even a submarine can. Yeah. Submarine can't even stand that pressure. You know what I'm saying? The top notch submarines, man. Like, yeah. There's some shit out there, man. But these motherfuckers are so busy trying to play God that you fucking. You're gonna learn. You know what motherfucking Mother Nature about to say? Oh, you ain't had your thinking your ass in a minute, huh? You ain't been fucking a while, ain't you? Oh, I'm about to show you something, motherfucker. I'm about to show you motherfucking shaky ass motherfucker something. It's gonna be earthquakes. Tsunamis, that's why we got these all these snowstorms finna go down this year. Cause man is trying to play God, man. And he's about to fuck up some shit. That's how the motherfucking world probably gonna end. It ain't gonna end, it's gonna end the motherfucking people. The people gonna end. That's what's gonna happen. The world ain't gonna end. It's the people on this motherfucker. Like leave shit alone. They don't they can't leave well enough alone. And that's the problem. No people. Always trying to discover shit, man. Motherfuckers walking to the motherfucking haunted forests late at night trying to figure shit out. I tell you, subscribers, man, they, they, they funny, man. They real fucking funny. They got a motherfucking. You heard about that, uh, uh what's it, uh, um, Galacta, something like, like that, where they smashing up, what, what's it, uh, light matter and dark matter together over there in Switzerland. I think they call it CERN. No, I've heard that. I've yeah. Heard that one, yeah. Yeah, they, they call it CERN or whatever. What they do is like, I think it's like for like 30 miles long or whatever, the homo. And they smash these particles together like at a light speed. And when they do that, you seen the movie, uh, what was that movie called? Um, With Tom Hanks. I think it was called um, um, Angels and Demons. It was called something. Angels and Demons? Yeah. Well, well, they, they, well, it was like a trilogy of it. Which one? The latest one, the one with Tom Hanks. I, I, he was in all three of them. It was Angels oh, and Demons. Thought... It was a, the Da Vinci Code was the first one. There was Angels and Demons, and there was another one. Yeah, I was saying it, like, it, it was like a trilogy of. It. Yeah, I was saying the Angels and Demons or what? But the movie basically talks about what, what the fuck is going on over there, motherfucker. When they smash these particles together, bullshit occurs. You know what I'm saying? They're like some shit. They, they can open portals now to different, yeah, some bull, they, they, to different dimensions, to different dimensions now, they experiment with some bullshit over there, joint, all your tax dollars is going to these motherfucking rich white motherfuckers over there, trying to play God, what do you think all these billions and trillions of dollars, scientists, man, they, you got some mad scientists over this motherfucker, trying to over there figure shit out, on top of them trying to play God at us trying to be motherfucking guinea pigs and shit. You got some mad people out here starting with this bitch ass motherfucker Bill Gates who's trying to depopulate the world and who's coming up with game plans to depopulate the world. This motherfucker just spent $200 billion on motherfucking land so he can motherfucking grow food that already got the poison in that shit. So either way, you getting this shit regardless. Either way, you getting this shit, it's going to be in your food now. Yeah, you getting this shit regardless, nigga. He's trying to depopulate the world. It is too many Negroes on this planet. That's basically what these crackers are telling you. And this plan is about to work. We about to take you Negroes out. <laughs> One way or the number. No bullshit. We about to take y'all out. It is too many hours. You know just saying they put in food like, like you heard of the new KFC chicken? Huh? You heard the, of new, it? the new KFC chicken, the new Taco Bell <laughs> chicken <laughs> wings? And yeah, shit. I just, how the fuck is it a chicken shortage? And Subway got wings. 
How fucking Taco Bell? Get Taco wing. Bell got wings. How does Taco Bell got wings? That's crazy, man. Where the fuck did y'all get wings from? You know, they, 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 they uh, clone motherfucking chickens and shit too, man. They clone all that shit, man. All, all the shit is farm raised now. You put the, they put the steroids in the shit. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? Anybody, all, all that That's shit. why you get these big ass fucking turkey legs that's looking like motherfucking uh, Medea's leg out this motherfucker, man. That shit, man, that shit crazy, man. Try to tell you, that's why you got these little ass 13, 14 year old. No pervert shit, but now, nowadays, man, you got to be looking at these little ass motherfucking girls. You be like, oh, man, I don't look at those little ass. No, I'm just saying, man. man. These motherfuckers, look, they built like wrong women. They built like wrong. That's why these motherfuckers is getting snatched. That being all motherfucking, man, that's another thing that's going on in the city, man. A lot of motherfucking kids are disappearing, man. A lot of these, not even just little girls, little boys, all types of shit, any projects. In the ghetto, they are disappearing. You know what I'm saying? They, they motherfucking crackers might be looking at these little girls and shit. I know they be looking at these little girls. I had to motherfucking catch myself one day. Like, hold up, this little bro. I know she motherfucking like 23, 24 or something like that or whatever. I got to talking to her one day. I don't know how the fuck I got to talking to her shit. Having a little friendly conversation or whatever. Like, oh, bro, how old are you? 16. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm talking about she had the whole package. Big bitches weren't looking like that when I was in school. They had them little perky titties and shit like that. Ass wasn't even that fat and nothing like that, man. I would have been on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, what the fuck is y'all eating? What are y'all feeding these little girls? It's some chick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I be saying motherfuckers' uh, sons grow up taller than the father. Yeah. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Why the fuck I ain't grow taller than my goddamn father? <laughs> the fuck was I eating back in the day? The fuck was y'all feeding me, spam? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ham and cheese sandwich. You know what I mean? What type of bacon was y'all giving me? I'm like, damn, you see Ja Rule, son? That nigga taller than his motherfucking ass. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Nah, seriously, man. Yeah, that's how it be, yeah. Nah, seriously, man. Motherfuckers is going missing. They're disappearing in the ghetto. Uh, every time I look up, man, you got a uh, missing flyer on online and shit. Help me find my daughter. A lot of times, motherfucker, they they figure, they figure out that mamas ain't shit. So they be like, man, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. A lot of times, they be running away, too. They run away from home. You know what I'm saying? They ain't missing. They just trying to get the fuck away from you and that bitch-ass nigga that you done brought up in the house. That's what they trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, man, it's going down out here, man. Man, it's more than going down. Man. I know you heard about the broad, uh... Who broad? Broad, uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Her, her husband broke up with her ass. What, what, what do you mean she broke up with her? Her husband broke up with her? Yeah, left, uh, he, he left her. Left her alone and said, that, that bitch too turned up, man. You know, all this motherfucking dry the boat shit. Man, you gotta, you gotta think about it, man. That bitch have been in like since she been in the game. How many relationships she have been in? She was fucking with Money Bag, yo. She already going through the shit with Tory Lanez, and now you, you, your husband, your recent husband just left your ass. His reason for leaving her ass because he said, all right, every right, time she drink, this bitch gets too turned up, and this receipts out there to prove that shit. Dang. You already motherfucking going through it, blaming a nigga for shooting you in your motherfucking foot. I ain't no motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? And this nigga, I forgot. What, what he got, uh, a feminist tattoo on his uh, right? So you know what I'm saying? He, ain't, he, he love that girl, man. He real life love Megan Thee Stallion. He was like, man, enough is enough. And sometimes in a relationship, fellas, I don't blame you, man. Enough is a goddamn enough. And that's what we going through now. A lot of men are leaving these no good ass Women, cause enough is enough. You know, niggas, man, we don't break up with bras. We wait till the broad leave us. The relationship could be going downhill. Normally, a broad uh, leave your ass. Yeah, nine times out of ten. Yeah, I'm not about to leave your ass, man. Bet you about to break up with me. I'm in this bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, lot of man, they getting left. Because y'all minds is, they, they, we ain't got time to be dealing with the drama, the arguing, 
I take you out in public, you embarrassing me. I'm taking you through the drive-thru, you arguing with the bitch over max sauce and shit, <laughs> over a couple of napkins. You like, no, I can't take this bitch nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You getting sure can. you getting into it with this bitch friends. I'm telling you like this. Say if, say if you y'all go out, right? You dating abroad, your man, y'all go out or whatever, your man, y'all double dating and shit. Your bitch get into it with your man. Who you gonna tell to chill first? Who started the argument? Say if your brother initiated the argument first. He do He do He do uh, But not. I'm gonna tell my brother to chill. Because. Yo, damn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your man's your man gonna be your man's. Mm -hmm. Regardless. Right. So. Mm -hmm. you, you gotta check. You gotta check your. You gotta check your woman first. Right. But in certain in certain situations you gotta see which one Even was, still, even was, still I'm gonna tell still. I'm gonna tell my man to chill out or yeah, whatever. I'm yeah. gonna be like, yo, that's my woman, you know what I'm saying? All yeah. the bitches and old that you call her. I'm gonna be like, man, y'all go ahead and chill out with Oh bitch. no, if he, that's what I'm saying, it depends on what the, the, yeah. the situation even is. Even still, even if motherfucking shit in the shit, dog, I'm gonna be like, man, just don't even worry about this shit. I had to learn. When, when, when we get home, oh, yeah, you handle it in the privacy, you know. You know what I'm saying? But man, nine times out of ten, nowadays, man, bitches will sit up there and let you argue with their friends and won't say a goddamn thing. I was a victim to this shit, young, cause they fucking like toxic drama that and shit. shit. Yep. I was a victim to that. That shit is fuck. I don't know what the fuck it is. They fucking they influenced it. They gonna be influenced that shit. They gonna pass that shit down to their fucking kids. Yeah. Young. They like that fucking toxic drama ass shit. Exactly. For some fucking reason, dog. I was arguing with this bitch over me playing the goddamn third third person. Not even the third person, but the second person. Cause I went with this nigga, my man's or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Mike, man. Went with this nigga to go see his bitch or whatever. He ain't, he ain't wanna go by himself. Uh-huh. So you know what I'm saying? And I guess she she wasn't by herself either. She had a couple of her female friends over there, motherfucker. All right. When I got back home, my bitch ain't got to ask me. Well, my ex bitch, she ain't got to ask me. I told her what, what the fuck, I'm like, yeah, I went with my motherfucking man or whatever. He had a couple female, I'm just letting you know what happened. You know what I mean? This bitch, two weeks later, it, it was her birthday, and we had all went out. I think it was, what's that spot over there in Greenville? Willie K's. Willie K's. We had all went out and shit like that. I had a good ass motherfucking time. Me, my man and I went with that night. Her and two of her other friends, they was in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? We all had a good ass motherfucking night that night. On our way back, my bitch initiates the argument. <laughs> and here's how she initiates the shit. How did she do it? She tell my motherfucking friend, oh, I don't fuck with you because you had my motherfucking man out around a bunch of motherfucking females without my consent and this, that, the third, blah, they blah, they blah. So my man, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he wasn't trying to argue with the bitch. He, he a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? He said it's for a piece. He like, man, whatever the fuck you said and shit like that. I answer Ben, I'm like, hey man, hold up. <laughs> Time out. Don't sit up here and act like this bitch in the back ain't have you playing the third wheel while she in the motherfucking next room getting the motherfucking rib cage beat. <laughs> Pound time. You know what I'm saying? Cause you done came home and told me a couple of nights uh, 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 about, about stories that this bitch be in the motherfucking room with Africans and shit. And you in a motherfucking another room with another African and shit. This nigga trying to run game on you and this bitch over there in another one. Don't sit up here and act like you ain't trying to play that third man shit. She so this know. bitch in the back, her motherfucking friends start going, oh, oh nigga, oh, this, that, the third. I ain't never had her in no motherfucking position like that, this, that, the third. So me and her get the exchange in words in the car. What happened? Bitch, this, bitch, that, you mad, this, that, the third. So I get out the car, you know what I'm saying? This bitch trying to get all in my face. I don't want to argue with bitches. 
I do not like you're not supposed women. to. You not supposed to. If that if that fucking female, that female, I'm not gonna say the word B I T C A. Huh? If that bitch is not your wife, you not gonna don't argue with. Don't even fucking waste your fucking time. Son. What? Don't right. that's uh, that's my that's that's for for the youth out there who's listening or seeing on Facebook live. Don't if that woman is not your wife, no. do not argue with her under any circumstances. It ain't worth it. It ain't even fucking worth it. You know what I'm saying? Do not even argue. I don't know even why you even argue with females even in the first place. You know? You know what I'm Let's saying? fucking walk over this because they want that fucking drama shit. Come a lot of times you in a you in a position where you got it, it's like you ain't got no choice but to hit this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the car driving. I could have been like, bitch, I kill this all in this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could have been that lunatic ass nigga. But no, we had some work, so I get out the car, trying to go up in the motherfucker house. My motherfucker bitch ain't no over there saying a goddamn word. Yeah, thing. Over there looking stupid as hell. So man, this bitch over there arguing. This bitch get on the phone. I'm about to call my motherfucking boyfriend. Is that I'm like, bitch, what the fuck does that gotta do? What that nigga got to do with this shit? <clears throat> bitch, you call that motherfucker, everybody gonna die. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly how I told her right. Bitch, you call that motherfucker, watch everybody. So and I'm looking at my bitch, I'm like, bitch, is you gonna intervene? Like, is you gonna say something? So her friend had to separate us. Her <laughs> friend had to step in. And telling me to calm the fuck down. Her friend, my girl, my ex's friend, her own friend had to c come in between the argument. Calm me down. I went over there and I apologized. You apologize. Yeah, it'd be the better person. You know what I'm saying? I went over there, I apologized. She over there crying and shit. I'm like, man, I ain't about to. She thinking I'm about to put her put my hands on. I'm like, man, I don't hit females. What the fuck are you? Yeah. We just had some words. I ain't about to let you motherfucking disrespect me like that. Cause you know exactly. I'm fucking right. I was just trying to make my point across. Exactly. Don't sit up here and act like you ain't never took my bitch on a motherfucking hiatus with your ass. So we ended the night off. I ended up dropping them bitches off or whatever. I get back home. My bitch come to me talking about, oh, you was right. <laughs> Now you say that. So you wait until we get the fuck home. Home. Like, don't, and that's what I'm going to tell y'all females too, man. Don't disrespect your man in public and then try to love on him in private. Exactly. You embarrass me arguing with me and letting letting your friends, you know what I'm saying, like, how can I put this? Like, try to uh, paint a picture on our relationship in front of your mother. Because bitches will do that. They sure will. They try to embarrass you while they, while they in front of their motherfucking friends and then try to be all lovely dubby with your ass while y'all in private. No, fuck that. Treat me the same way because I don't do that to bros. I will not bring you around the guys and try to embarrass your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? I treat women, with, especially if it's a woman I'm fucking with, a lot of times, a bitch that I'm fucking with, I don't even like bringing her around the guys like that. You know what I mean? It'd probably be around, around like one or two motherfucking homies, but nah, fuck all of that. You know what I'm saying? Bitches will pull some shit like that, man. Bitches will try to embarrass you, dog. And I hate that shit. You out in public and you acting up. We, we can argue at the crib all day, bitch. All that arguing and yelling while we in the fucking store. Say that shit for when we get back home. Cause I ain't got time for motherfuckers be like, oh, oh yeah, hey, hey. to Chris Brown's that Chris Brown shit. A nosy motherfucker been called the cops cause they think I'm about to slap the shit out your ass in this motherfucker Target. They trying to make a scene. You know what I'm saying? For nothing though, bro. Like, though, I had to deal with that shit, man, for years. No, nah, but you think about this shit. They will fucking argue with you in public, right? Uh -huh. Then trying to fucking make a scene. But when you take them out in public, and they try to break up with you. They don't want you to make a scene. But all right, right. <laughs> what? Oh, what are you doing? Are you embarrassing us? You like, bitch. Cause and effect. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfucking dudes they don't go crazy, man, for no fucking reason. I know you heard stories about a nigga motherfucking killing the kids. His wife. I don't condone this shit. 
for killing the kids, his wife, and, and turning the gun and killing his goddamn self. Don't no nigga do that for no reason. What did this bitch do? This bitch did something. He ain't just motherfucking come home and just, I'm gonna kill everybody up in this motherfucker for no reason. Nah, that bitch did something to trigger that shit the fuck off. I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, man, that's what the fuck goes down. I got a story. Story time, let's go. Randy, shout out to Randy from Arizona. I got a motherfucking story to tell. And I want y'all expertise Here we go. on this story. Let's go. Let me put it up right quick. Uh, yeah, the, you, you wrote it down? Oh, yeah, I had to write this down. Yeah, man. Make, make sure I remember it, man, because I, I be flowing through a lot of shit during the week. Man. Write an essay. Huh? Yeah, nah, 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 he just wanted out that. Brandy, here you go. I found a sex tape in my girlfriend's phone with another guy, <laughs> so I watched it. We've been together for three months, almost going on four. And we go to the same college. She said it was something in her phone prior, uh, prior to us being together and never had a chance to erase it. She was throwing things in that recording that I, I never, ever, ever have yet to done with her. Of course I was mad. I'm not sure if I believe her, but she insists it is nothing that happened while we was together. What should I do? Break up with that bitch. <laughs> Randy, you got yourself into some shit. <laughs> what would you do, Kitty? Like, man, you dating a fraud. No, you break. You got to break up with her, dog. Man, you got to break up. But, but she say it ain't been nothing that's recent, though. But she still got the video on her phone. I got videos of chicks I, that I, I, I clap. Yeah, I got videos in my phone from ch chicks that I clap. Probably like three years, three, four years Yeah, ago. that's, yeah. Hey, videos and no. But if a bitch go through my phone, see, Randy. Wait a minute, well, wait. How long ago was it? That's the thing about it. That's the, that, and that's the question. What? Like, if it was like a year, like that shit, like, yeah. if that shit was like within a time frame that you just. Man, you said the bitch said it wasn't nothing recent. And they was dating what, what, like a couple, what, like seven, six, what do you say, six or seven months. So it wasn't enough of a reason. Yeah, it, it depends. It depends. Like, I mean, that's a, it depends on how long they was dating. Yeah. It depends. If that shit was like a month before y'all fucking, oh, yes. It's, it, it, it depends yeah. on the time. If it was a month, but then, then no. two months, you But then done. the second part where he said, this bitch doing shit that she never done. Yeah. Oh, nah, that yeah. would piss me the fuck yeah. off. Like, this bitch sucking balls from the back. You and and I'm like, saying? this bitch never sucked my balls. You know what I'm saying? This bitch must <laughs> love. <laughs> this bitch must love that nigga. She must have loved that nigga. <laughs> Don't bullshit like that, bitch. You did this bitch. You ain't never do no shit like that with me. You hear me? Like, what the fuck? That's <laughs> weird. Like, slip, yeah, yeah. Randy. You had some shit, my man. I'm telling you, like, dog. Man, what would I do? I tell that bitch, if you ain't performing that shit on me, bitch, we done. I I want to, I want I want next. <laughs> I want next. I want you to record. We are going to make a video tonight. <laughs> and I want you to motherfucking say that shit to your motherfucking Google Drive. <laughs> Email that motherfucker to me, your damn <laughs> self. I want that bitch saved all through this motherfucker. Put it, to, upload it to the iCloud. If it's like that, you know what I'm saying? If it's like that, I'm the type of nigga, man, if I walk in the house and catch my bitch cheating, I'm going to point the strap and be like, no, nah, finish fucking. <laughs> finish I'm about to humiliate this bitch. No, nah, finish fuck. We about to make a point over this bitch. Finish. I wouldn't even get mad. If I walk in the house and I catch a nigga fucking my bitch, I'm gonna be like, nigga, finish fucking her. Fuck yeah. all that. This cheat wanted nah. to be a hoe. But nah, but yeah, I gotta agree with you on that shit though, for real. Cause you gotta, cause most niggas will fucking Kirk out and fucking try to hit the fucking dude. Nah, you fucking. He ain't got nothing to do with it. He don't got nothing. To, no, that that's I don't got no fucking. I don't got no point. 
He don't got nothing to do with this shit. Mm-hmm. You're the fucking girls the one got something to do with this shit. You're the one. Your girl got fucking caught cheating and shit. She the one out here sucking dick and all that shit, fucking bouncing on niggas' dick and fucking mm-hmm. shit. No, nah, you won't fucking no. Nah. This is what you do, girl. You fucking you call your phone. You get on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and say, "Look at this fucking hoe." No, nah, keep on. Yeah, pull the strap out and say, "Fucking keep, finish fucking." Uh, nah, he, finish fucking. Yep. Yeah. Finish sucking that Not even just the strap, man. Get, get a knife. Get the kitchen knife. No, nah, finish sucking. No, go ahead and finish. Finish fucking. Go ahead and finish. Make sure you fuck the shit out of this bitch while I'm right yeah. here. I want to see it. That's the type of shit I am. <laughs> no bullshit, man. No bullshit. Straight up, man. Three, bras, just finish. Bras, man, be out here doing some foul ass shit, man. And you wonder why. Men are the way they are today. We getting tired. Tired of the shenanigans. I be wondering, like, what would niggas do if, if they get caught in certain situations where how my man Randy went down? Tell you like this, man. I I, I finally figured it out, Benny. What you figured out, bro? Why us men cheat? I, I, lucky I ain't got we ain't got no females on the podcast tonight. But I'm gonna tell y'all this for y'all watching. You know why some of us niggas cheat? No, I think because what? How I'm gonna put this in the fucking nicest fucking way? Let me see. Women cheat. Men cheat with who? Women sleep with who they want to sleep with, and men sleep with who they can't. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Basically, let's put it like that. Men sleep with who they can. Women see who they want to sleep with. I mean, a bitch can look like a bitch can look like a one fucking fat as shit going. Man, she said she always fuck every nigga in the fucking club. Oh, yeah. It could be ninety nine niggas in the club and like say seventy five niggas fucking want to fuck. And women got that option. Yes, yeah, so women got, got that, that option. We gotta we, work for that. We nigga. gotta we gotta work for the shit. You know what I mean? Taking bitches out. You know what I mean? All we gotta fucking take, fucking take pictures. We gotta take them out. Fucking what else? Fucking pay the rent, pay the cell phone bill, <laughs> give them twenty dollars for weed. I mean, Slavey. like the fuck. Slave for you. You heard that Bruno Mars song? <laughs> this bitch can't be paying the rent. <laughs> Now look at him. Now look at this shit. That's the truth, but you know. I'm gonna give it to you in my vision. What's it? What's your vision, all? About why we cheat. A lot of us men are afraid to go home to our main bitch and tell her face to face, "You my main piece. I love you. You got my kids." We might be getting married, but this bitch that I've been fucking sniff nuts for an hour. You don't do that. You don't do that. We need to bring this bitch home with us. This bitch needs to be a part of the family. You hear me? A lot of niggas ain't got the courage to tell a bitch that. This bitch sniff nuts for an hour. You ain't doing that, babe. I, I I can't get rid of that. I can't get rid of no bitch that sniff nuts for a whole hour. For a whole... T- that bitch work hard. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Sniffing nuts, though. For an hour. You hear me? Like, bitch, I come home to you. I barely can get sex. You know what I'm saying? I got a motherfucking run game on your ass just to get sex. I the motherfucking... And you know what? It's, uh, I, I get what you're saying, but I don't agree with the sniff nuts on the pop. Shit. You want me to freak? I'm telling you, you'd be like, you'd be thinking twice to watch your bitch at the house. You'd be like, man, that's why niggas see. So, some women, some women do what other women don't. Like, your main chick don't. Like, I was dating this broad. Like, she, uh, her ass would not send fucking news. So, I was talking to this other broad. At the same fucking time, who did? Mm-hmm. And who actually be coming over my place? Yeah. So, 
Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Right. And you think bitches don't go to do the same shit? And I didn't tell them myself. You don't know what year this was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, that's what you got over. Yeah, this is back in the day, baby. This is back in the day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Back, like, in, back in my early 20s. Just like Randy in <laughs> this situation. <laughs> <laughs> she told that nigga, man, this was for back in the day. This is, hey, they ain't lying to you. They ain't saying any goddamn thing. But a lot of times, man, 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 when you was in a little broad now, man, Especially us black men. Only thing women got to offer in these relationships nowadays, man, is another nigga's child. A lot of times when you dating a black women nowadays that's like mm, 25 and up, because I'm over 30 now. Pretty sure all my comrades were over 30. Yeah, we in the 30s. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So if you're still in the dating pool, you're going to date a female that has another man's shout. So with that being said, know what you're getting yourself into. Because you never know if this bitch got baby father drama if she's an angry, bitter, ain't shit ass bitch, this nigga might have motherfucking left because he couldn't deal with the bitch no more. You got to look at everything. Do she got him on child support? Is she on government assistance? Are her kids bad as fuck? <laughs> we got to start looking. You know what I'm saying? As you get older, you, when you dating abroad nowadays, you got to look at all this shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? This one broad, man, this bitch was older than me. Her son died, half my motherfucking age, nigga, like 17, 18. I'm like, man, I can't fuck with this broad, man. This nigga, I'm coming up now and that motherfucking house, this nigga gonna be looking at me a certain type of way after a while. You know what I'm saying? This nigga bigger than me. Suppose this bitch motherfucking say some bullshit one motherfucking night. Mm -hmm. like, this nigga coming in the room, well, what's going on? <laughs> What'd you say to my mom? <laughs> What you say to my mom? You know what I'm saying? You know she gonna rock with him. Yeah. Then you gotta deal with the father after that. Like, nah, that bitches will put you in them type of situations, man. Especially now. You know what I mean? What you think about the Kanye West situation? Him and, uh, Kim Kardashian, that's what they going through right that's, now? That's all baby mom, baby father, baby mama drama. That's but all. That's, that's the same. It's just he the same. had to go through Travis Scott. To get to his kid's birthday party. That's that's all. That's that's it's the, that's it's something cold. that's that's not that's a that's cold, but it's the same thing. A regular guy named Joe Joe Small do same thing. Oh, he finna go great. Pete same. Davidson better watch his ass, man. Same know what you getting yourself into. Same. This nigga thing. bought a house across the street. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> Dog, that shit must be motherfucker. Hey, John, that shit must be fucking torch. Yes, she must got the motherfucking waterfall of a goddess. Dog, that shit must be torch. Mm -hmm. That shit must be torch. Man, she, man, a lot of our black men, our, our black brothers, man, they getting on TV and they getting embarrassed, man, when they try to leave these ain't shit ass bitches. You see what happened to the bro, the nigga, uh, Doctor Dre. This nigga called a motherfucking, what, what do you call it, uh, uh, brain, uh, brain. that bitch stressed him out so bad. Took him to court and just settled for 200 million? Well, what was it, 100 million or 200 million? Yeah. God damn! Shorty, stiffy! Stiff and good, too. Why can't motherfucking females leave the relationship in peace sometimes? Like, you go this way. I go this way. It was fun while it lasted, sweetheart. I'm good. Especially if we ain't married, we ain't got no kids together. Oh no, but I put up with your ass for five or six years. And so did I. I put up with you for five or six years, bitch. You know how much of a headache that was? You know how much money I spent? We need to start treating these relationships like taxes. If the relationship don't work out, bitch, I need my money back. I need some of that shit back. You know what I'm saying? I need some some of what I spend. I need some some of that shit back. All them fucking 
Dinner dates out of my I feel you on that one. We gotta start treating her like that, man. <laughs> no funny. Yeah. No funny, man. Yup. See, what else we got going on tonight? Can't complain, man. We got five minutes for this episode, then we got then we can do another episode. Yeah. I gotta tell you some shit. Oh I mean, shit. Next episode. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Shit, man. Yeah. What you think about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson coming up? Mike Tyson gonna knock his ass out within fucking See, he took it easy on motherfucking Roy Jones. Yeah, he took it easy on Roy Jones. He, he might take it easy on this motherfucker. They just had it for the money, man. Yeah. And he know Mike be fucking with them shrooms now. The mushrooms and shit. That... <laughs> Mike smoked weed and he fucking with the shrooms. Mike wants some rubbish in that down. He might get that motherfucking ring and trip out. Nah, he gonna, he gonna knock his ass. He gonna, now they gonna say he fought a real fire. He gonna get his ass knocked the fuck out now. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, man. We're I had see. I had him when he, I said he gonna be, I, I told him he was gonna be Tyrone Woodley, though. I knew he was gonna I, ain't, I ain't know that was gonna go down. I knew that shit was gonna happen. Man. I ain't know he finna knock him down like that. Yeah. That man. nigga had the noodle legs in there, motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Remember <laughs> his legs like this? Uh huh. Yeah. Like a motherfucking eagle wings, like, damn. Yeah, he knocked him out yeah. bad. Yeah. That shit. He gonna fuck it. From YouTuber to motherfucking knockout, man, though. I mean, I. I, I couldn't stand Jake Paul at first, but you got to give it to him, man. Yeah, the yeah. guy's entertaining, dog. He's entertaining, yeah. Yeah, you got to yeah, get it to him. He's entertaining. And he's he showing receipts. He's, he's entertaining as hell, yeah. He's showing receipts for the shit, man. Yeah. He's knocking motherfuckers out. He's getting there. He's not even talking up. He's, man, he's going to give you what you want. Yeah. He's going to give you a show, man. Shout out to Jake Paul, man. I ain't no hating. Shout out to Mike Tyson, too, man. Ain't I'm no Mike Tyson. Ain't no hating our blood, man. We, we, we need good black brothers to step up and do something, man. We got uh, Black History Month coming up. We can't, we can't, weeks. we can't fall short of the glory, fam. And then we do, damn, the two weeks. See, we just had had your president disrespect Martin Luther King on his birthday. Dog. On his birthday. The um, president. I'm like, it's like nothing surprises, <coughs> nothing surprises me anymore, y'all. Nothing surprises me anymore, yeah. Like, nothing surprises me. I told y'all, man. This nigga's full yeah. of shit. Nothing's a fire. Because he mentioned something about George Floyd. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker said the world didn't feel the impact on, on Martin Luther King's, King's assassination death. as they did George Floyd. Yeah. What type of dumbass remark? What made him say that? What made him say some shit like that? You think the world didn't feel the wrath of MLK being assassinated? Like, is that nigga stupid? Like, he, got a, he got a national holiday named after him. Right, man. A national a holiday. holiday named after him. You know what I'm saying? The silver... Oh, I don't even know. I, I, that's why I said nothing surprises me. Anything anybody, a politician said, anybody...